I went up to that title company and they handed me a check and it had sixty one hundred dollars on it. It still didn't feel real. Till I went to that bank and cashed the check and they gave me sixty I had sixty one hundred dollars cash in my hand. I'm like, Are you freaking kidding me? What's going on, bro? <laughs> I about forgot I was in the uh backstage joint. You're it, man. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm blessed, dude. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, I hate I missed the sign up where I, um, well, it's all good because I've been following you for about three months now, <laughs> and I already done locked up my first, uh, they got my first, uh, contract signed and closed on in 30 days, so. How much? You, uh, for 7000 Woo! Seven thousand in three weeks off a hundred dollar oh. EMD. Woo! So you ain't got to tell me that. Well, <laughs> yeah, you got to keep telling me knowledge, but <laughs> you definitely made a believer out of me. So first, I wanna, yeah, man, like I don't know why. Even while while I was, you know, taking the steps and stuff, like I was still skeptical. Like even when I had the con the conversation with the seller. Uh, something was still, you know, like it, it didn't, it wasn't real until I went up to that title company and they handed me a check and it had $6,100 on it. It still didn't feel real till I went to that bank and cashed the check and they gave me 60, I had $6,100 cash in my hand. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? In less than three weeks, bro, like, I ain't yeah. trying to brag or boast or nothing like that. I think I posted it in, in the group, like, for some motivation. Like, I ain't trying to brag or boast or nothing like that. It was just un-freaking-believable. Like, $100 turned into seven grand in three weeks? Like, are you... <laughs> And you get a hundred bucks uh, back, bro. You get a hundred bucks back too. Yeah, yeah. I that. didn't even know that part. I thought that I thought the hundred bucks was to the seller, like whatever, it's gone. You know. So when I seen the sixty one hundred, I'm like, this an extra hundred dollars. Like what? Shit, I ain't gonna argue with you. <laughs> I ain't even know that. I ain't even know you get the EMD back or none of that. So yeah, but um. Since then, you know, feeling feeling like hot stuff. Like right after that, I had a uh, another lead. I followed up on it, and I uh, I got it locked up. But I locked it up way too freaking high, cause I um I ran my cops on Prop Stream and on Zillow, and they was uh I came up with an ARV of like two forty, and um the people was willing to let it go for one eighty. Um, they already had most of the rehab done. The only thing they maybe had to put in, um, anybody probably had to spend another ten, maybe twelve thousand to finish the rehab. You know, so I'm yeah. going off of all that. I'm like, oh, and they wouldn't let it go for one eighty. Met with them, got them to agree to one seventy. I'm like, oh yes, I'm in the fucking room. <laughs> but um I overlooked the area and the cops yeah. that I pulled up was like they uh was just like three blocks over and they were selling for like two forty and two fifty within the last three months, like literally just three blocks over. But um when I went over there and actually looked at the comp, like the neighborhood was a completely different kind of neighborhood, you know, like um, you know, um, like the grass was cut up. My subject property was like in uh, it, it stood out because it it was so well put together, you know, like um, in that area it was the it is the best looking house in that area, but just three blocks over, it was like a typical normal looking house. For that area, and I didn't, uh, I didn't realize it until I done marketed out. I had a couple of buyers come out looking at it, and they was like, "Nah, bro, like you, I can't." A lot of them was like, "They can't do no more than one forty for it," yeah, because of the area. 
So my thing is, how how can I um get a a, a decent ARV in tricky areas like that? It's or hard. Do you man. have any? You have no. any advice? So cash flow is a really good one. Um, so for all right, first of all, congrats on the deal, man. Um, I'm sure. telling you, like, hey, I got my first deal, third deal, fourth deal. Like, it didn't feel real, and then I started getting. If you know, like, you're starting to do that, why wouldn't you want to scream on social media and tell everyone to do it? That's why I tell everyone to do it because it, it happens, right? Um, but to answer your question, bro, um, cash flow is the best one. But when you really don't know, dude, you just got to ask your buyers how much they're willing to pay for it. Like, just how much you're willing to buy this house for before you lock it up. Not the best thing to do, but like when you just don't know, you just ask, right? And uh, sometimes they'll give it to you and then like, okay, well, you're going to pay 180. She's at 170. Let's do 160, right? And then you're good to go. That's probably my best advice for it. So uh, doing that, that wouldn't be considered marketing that property? You don't have it locked up. If Yeah, if you don't have it locked up, you know, like you said, just asking the buyers. Asking, that, like, what would you buy this That wouldn't be considered for? like marketing the property with because I don't want to get in any yeah. kind of trouble or nothing like that. No, like if I asked you, hey, how much would you buy one, two, three, four Main Street at? Just curious if you're gonna buy it. Just speaking numbers, right? How much would you buy the White House at? I'm not marketing the White House. Just how much would you buy for the White House, right? You know, because you're not okay. saying you, you own it. You say, well, how much would you pay for a house like this? All right, yeah, because that's what I thought about that. Um, I actually uh put it out there once I realized I had it locked up too high. Yeah. I uh, put it out there to a couple of agents with like, um, you know, I gave them the information, the property info and all that. And I asked them like, uh, just make an offer on it, you mm -hmm. know, just trying to, and one guy, <laughs> one guy hit me back. One of the agents hit me back and like, he kind of called me out on it. He was like, uh, it seems like you don't know what the house worth. You know, it's like, and, uh, I was like, look, to be honest, like I, I am. Try, I am fishing, you know, just to see, um, you know, what kind of offers I could, uh, I, I can get off, off this house. Dude, don't but let I thought that was funny. He tried to call me out like that. <laughs> don't let him you, man. Like, that's, I don't play with that, man. Yeah. Like, well, you think it's worth less? Well, show me how. Maybe I made a mistake. I don't let anyone disrespect me like that because then they're not going to respect you when you go to sell the other deal. True. Well, shit, that's, that's on deal because I, I um if when my next deal I do throw I throw it right up in their face, you know. Tomorrow. Now that's when I will glow. Like my like <laughs> like yeah, I might have messed up on that one. But look at this ten thousand dollars I just made a couple of weeks yeah. later, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I don't I, even, I, it don't even rub me like that. I just thought it was funny. Yeah, um, I, I can agents disrespect me all the time and I I can go tell them I made your I made your entire commission for a year in like uh like a week but i don't say that you know i know it's real for me and so i, I don't have to but man dude that's awesome dude keep hammering man like uh dude whole thing will change your life and uh, you keep at it man you're gonna do it it's yeah, for real easy. man like I, like i said just listening to you and your pop show and you know just following up on stuff fought through all my all my own doubts and stuff like that you know because the whole time in the back of my head, like, ain't no way it's this easy, you know? Yeah. Like, I've been told this, and like you said, it's all, it's always something, you know? It's always something that somebody ain't telling you, and yeah, I, I, I can vouch for y'all, like, there's, you done told me enough to make $7,000 in three weeks. <laughs> so, hey, yeah. if, I don't, if I don't learn nothing else from you, I, I feel like I done learned enough, you know? What state are you in? Don't tell me your market. What state? Um, in North Carolina, okay. I, do, well, uh, I don't want to know what's market because I don't just you know people are gonna flood it. But... Nah, it, it's cool because check this: I do roadside assistance, right? Oh, so okay. I'm everywhere. Like I, I don't, nice. I'm not just focused on just put it like this. I'm in Guilford, Guilford, and surrounding counties. I put it like that because and, and I'm. And most of it is uh driving for dollars, you know, because I'm constantly seeing, you know, the distressed properties and like like you uh was just talking about like the signs. My signs for a distressed property 
is if it's empty. Yeah. <laughs> if that house is empty, something going on there. You know, yeah. somebody ain't living there. So <laughs> that's my qualification for a distressed property. <laughs> yeah, like, man. I don't care. Of course, you look for the boarded up signs and tall grass and all that. But, um, you know, if that thing empty, it qualifies for my list. I love you it. You know, man. and your code violations, and yeah, I've been following up on that. You know, starting from the bottom, you gonna learn the most from the bottom. That's how I figure. So, oh, man. once I get comfortable down here, yeah, I'm definitely taking out. But yeah, that was my only question, though, know, because I feel kind of now I'm kind of weary on my comps now through running running them through Prop Stream and Zillow and all that. Yeah, but uh, oh yeah, that reminds me, I um. What about, I, I had this idea, but before I actually stick to it, I wanted to get your thoughts on it. So, say I get a, a comp with Zillow, I get an ARV with Zillow, I get an ARV with PropStream, and get an ARV with, like, Redfin. Can I add those up and um, divide them by three for, like, an average? You can. I prefer comps. Just go ahead and run it. I, I'd rather yourself. do comps, but you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just something to make it quick and easy, just in case I, you know, I'm yeah, talking to I, a seller on man. the phone yeah. and I have to come up with a quick, quick offer, Definitely, right? Quick. Yeah. Just, yeah. You can do it. True. True. All right. I, well, I appreciate that. Yeah. My big tip for you is, man, have the seller give the price first and then just get the lowest you possibly can. The lowest. And, that's honestly what I do. You like you don't have to comp that at that point, you know. Okay. Like okay. legit, I can go to a house. You give me the address. I just have a conversation with the seller. I can lock it up lower because I don't care what Zillow says. What price do you want to sell it for? They'll say two hundred. The Zillow could be three. The Zillow could be fifty grand. I don't know. I say, well, you know, I was talking to my, uh, you know, my mighty John, and, and he was closer to like a hundred. Like I can never do a hundred. Well, I mean, can we meet the middle? And they're like, well, I don't. And then you just lock it up and like, you don't even know, you know, um, I always just try to get the lowest out of the seller and that's how I get my bigger deals. Um, but we got plenty okay. of videos on that, you know? True. True. I appreciate that. Oh yeah, man. No worries, dude. I love it. That's a great story, man. That's motivating. I know a lot of people are going to oh, get yeah. uh, motivated for that. Man, it's unbelievable. It's just blew my mind. I ain't never. I ain't never, ever, ever, ever turned a hundred dollars into no seven grand. Like I tell, you know, I'll be telling my people about it and all that. They they just look at me like, boy, stop lying. You know, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. you ain't got to, like, why is you? And then I go and show them the, um, the, uh, oh yeah, it's the settlement statement letter, the same thing as a HUD. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pretty much. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was another thing I meant to ask because that's what I got. And I'm, I'm looking for something, you know, with HUD on it or something like that. But they sent me, yeah. you know, settlement okay. statement letter. Okay. But it was all the same information, you know, like you say, proof. Here you go. <laughs> no, I ain't man, got yeah. to talk about it. You can see it for yourself. At least use that but money. Yeah, I appreciate everything you're doing in your pops, too, man. And Don't blow that money, man. It. Salute. Best of luck to everybody in uh, doing the 30-day challenge. Like I said, you, know, you follow dude. This your first time. You in the right place. For real. Listen to this guy right here. Don't let the baby face fool you. He knows a lot. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love it, man. I All right, love it. Take it easy, that. man. All right. Don't blow that money, man. Keep it. Oh, no. Nah, oh, no. Nah, this this going right back into it. This going yeah, right back in. I started out with a five hundred dollar budget, um, back in March. Yeah. So now I'm a, I'm a up that to I'm gonna take fifteen hundred and put it right back into the bid. Beautiful. Like man. This, I'm sold. <laughs> you got this, man. You're in a great market deal. For real, for real. All right. Well, hit right, me well up take it easy, man. I, I'll be in touch with you. All right, man. Awesome, dude. I right, bet. Boom. Oh.